Hey guys, I'm Ozia and welcome to today's episode. Today we're going to be making um, so, well, French fries automatically. Um, the last episode we made this uh, automatic dirt farm. So here's the link if you want to go see it. It's uh, what's allowed us to make this many stacks and of course to make this giant grassed area plus this farm. So this is uh, the potato farm I already got set up. And so what we're going to do is we're going to turn the potatoes into french fries or fries pan's harvest craft fries with salt so we're going to make salt at the same time combine them to make fries just to get uh, a better food source going on so i think fries are two hunger points and it'd be good to have a automatic system for doing it so the first thing is start building okay so we need to make a a planter and some upgrades uh, currently over in that farm it's a 9x9 nine nine, so which means it's a uh, plus 3 upgrade for the planter and the harvester to reach uh, all the plants so we'll just grab them so that's pretty much a 310 3 raw plastic uh, a gold nugget there and redstone and redstone and now the planter 2 pieces of copper a redstone reception coil two pistons, a machine frame, a flower pot, and two plastic sheets. <coughs> okay, there we go. Let's go chuck this down. There we go. Okay, it can work underneath the Aculus accu Accus Accumulator. accumulator. Okay, so we're just going to put potatoes in there, it's fine, uh, chuck in the upgrade, and I didn't think of a way to power the system, did I? Uh, let's do that now too. How am I going to get to that? Um, sorry potatoes, you're going to have to get lost for a second there. Okay, redstone, hopefully we can run this. Yeah. Under. There we go. And. Okay, so that's the right place. Yes, yes, yes. I've just got to patch this up, so I'm just making sure I've got everything right before I block access off to it. So let's put that dirt back. Okay. There we go. I can't see that, can I? Okay, anyway, let's uh, continue on with this adventure. Uh, looks like I'm gonna do this. Get out of the way. And hopefully not fall. Got those potatoes. Okay, so we're on a power. Mind you, that um dirt farm is also uh, producing power as well because the uh, the wood gets that gets harvested. Okay. That. Let's uh. Where's my pick? There it is. Okay, there we go. And we'll just run the power straight up. Okay. Hmm. I'm just wondering. When I put that harvester down, it's gonna harvest straight away, so I'm gonna have to leave the harvester until the last. Just so we don't have. Thousands of potatoes everywhere. Okay, so let's just patch this up again. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Um, we're also going to have to run a item duct to the planter just to return extra potatoes back. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we back, and then one more. And then go up. So planter will go there. Uh, actually, planter will go there. Sorry. Okay, there we go. So harvester will there. Harvester will get potatoes, pull potatoes, put it into our machine when we have it, and send the extra off to the planter. Actually, while we're still got it open, let's just um chuck some dirt in here. Just so we don't have this thing 
completely filling up the potatoes. We only want to have one stack, so 64 will be enough. We don't need, uh, what's that, 16 stacks of potatoes, so. Uh, okay, hopefully that's, hopefully we don't have to go back there. Mm. Okay, hopefully that, that will disappear. Okay, so it's planting the potatoes. Okay, so what's next? Not this one, it's this one. Okay, so the harvester, we're gonna leave that one to last. Uh, we've got a weekly crafter. So we're gonna make that one first. Um, was I not gonna make an Accuous Accumulator? Ooh, I was gonna make an Accuous Accumulator. Can I run the water from all the way over there? Um, I'll be right back once I've got that water water sorted. Okay, guys, I'm back and I've run some water uh, all the way over from the tree farm. So we've got that sorted. Oh, no, this one. Okay, so first thing we want to do is actually not make the liquid crafter because it's uh well you all just see. Um, I want to make it so that it's a uh, very compact. So if I put it down now, I might have to move it later. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to make some uh, cyclic assemblers. So just to help us automatically make um, the fries and the salt that's needed. And they can go right here and right here. Okay, so let's, uh, where are the outputs? So we're going to disable it just for now because we don't want it to automatically uh, start working and filling up this one preemptively. Okay, this one has no output because this is where we're going to get the fries from. Uh, okay, so let's, might as well just fill this up on, with dirt as well because we don't want it to fill up with um, stuff it needs, doesn't need to be there. Okay, all right, so we've got that one there. That one there, and what we need to do now is uh, build us the uh, liquid crafter. Okay, this, this, so it's two portable tanks, machine frame, uh, a crafting station, two books, and a pneumatic servo. And what did I get wrong there? Uh, liquid crafter. Oh, plastic sheets. Um, I have them. I have them somewhere. I think it be. There we go, plastic sheets. Okay, there we go. Liquid Crafter. Yay! And Liquid Crafter will go... Uh, here. Okay, yep. And we want to... Start pumping water into it. Uh, let's pump it in from the top. Okay, so it should start filling up with water there. We want to uh, get a bucket of water just to give it a template to work with first. Okay, go there. And the template starts. You can see it makes uh, fresh water from Pam's Harvest Craft. It won't start making them until you give it a redstone signal. So that's our next thing. We want to give it a redstone signal by uh, making a redstone clock. Okay, which is four redstone in the corners, four stones, and a redstone torch in the center, and you get a redstone clock from extra uh, extra utilities. We just chuck it on. Oh, shift click connect it and it starts making an output uh, not an output yes it does do an output it starts making the water and what we want to do is we want to get it to fill the cyclic assembler with the water but not just yet we're gonna um, we're gonna need to make oh, what's it the uh, the schematics for what the uh, the cyclic assemblers are gonna actually do Okay, so first like assembler, we'll chuck that there, 
Um, it's going to make salt, so we're going to need to make a, I think it's a pot, which is a stick, four iron, and yeah, it's a pot. So a pot and water gets you salt, so in the, actually, before you do this, make sure you go options, inventory, turn any eye off, just temporarily, because um, any eye gets in the way of doing the schematic. I think it's also got to do with something with the, uh, the size of any eye, but essentially if, if any eye can fill the space, this um, schematic area down here won't actually work. So what you want to do is you want to say, it's a pot of water and I mean a uh, fresh water from Pam's Harvest and a pot from Pam's Harvest and it gives us a ghost item here so tick yes and now we've got a schematic that says salt okay and we've got that one set to output not output yet sorry okay so what we do now is now we want to transfer this water into here and just so it doesn't um, Start filling up uh, pipes. I'm gonna do it by hopper. Okay, so hopper, shift click. Uh, is it gonna. Do I need input on the front? Yes, I do. Uh, okay, well, that's top, left, right, bottom, that's front, that's back. We might have to rotate this one around just so we've got an opening on the front. Yeah, that's good enough. And then the back's going to be the output, so we're going to put that as the input. Now we're getting water here, and as soon as we put this pot in here, it starts making salt for us. Let's uh, fill this area up as well. We don't need it. We don't want it to fill it with uh, tons of water as well. Okay. Uh, what's next here? We've got uh, the harvester and uh, we might as well make uh, the bakeware, which is required to make the fries, which is uh, eight pieces of glass. I think you can also make it with um, eight blocks of clay as well. Uh, but I would go with the glass anyway, so. Just eight in a circle. Did I make extra glass? No. I must have made extra glass. And so this one, we need to do a recipe for it as well. And its recipe will be... Actually, I need to grab some salt first. Just a tiny bit of salt. There we go. The recipe is salt, potato, and bakeware. And we need to put the schematic up there first. Go tick, yes. Now it's set to making uh, fries. Okay, so we want to put the bakeware in there already. Uh, let's just put some potatoes in there and let's put some salt in there to make, start making them already. Okay. I'm not going to join these up just yet. I'm going to wait until the uh, harvester starts putting potatoes in here. Okay, let's put that harvester down now. I'm going to make it first. So two plastic sheets, an invar axe, two shears, a machine frame, a piece of gold, a piece of gold, and redstone reception coil, harvester, MSR. Okay, am I going to be able to jump up there? Uh, yes. Okay. There we go. I put that wrong area, didn't I? That almost fell. Go. Meant to go down one. Okay, so it's starting to house just these three ones. Okay, yep, MG, right. Okay, is it filling up this area yet? No, not yet. Let's turn that one to an output. Okay, so it's harvested that area, that's alright. Okay, it should fill up the planter first. So let's hopefully. Okay, let's just see, let's put the upgrade in there to get it to harvest everything. Hopefully there's 64 potatoes in there just to fill up the planter first. Okay, yep. 
Can we see the point from here? No. We can knock that dead out, just so we can see it. Uh, okay, planter has its potatoes yet. 64, so the pipe should be getting stuffed or sending potatoes in here. Wait, what's this uh, input? Uh, yep, we can put that one as an input as well. So we should get potatoes in here. Okay, it's stuck for the time being. And I'm just gonna wait until it decides that it can now move in here. There we go, potatoes are going in, which is good. Okay, let's uh wait a little bit longer. If I start if I put this one, if I put its output into here and it uh, consumes it with um, salt, what will happen is uh, this machine will make uh, all the fries it can, it will go through potatoes and then it will fill both slots with uh, salt and not be able to make fries. Since we've made 32 here and we've already got, okay, it's gonna start putting extra potatoes in there. So, it's the back one, the output, yep, and we need to make space. No. You, no. 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 There we go. No. So now, we've got fries automatically made. Awesome. Awesomeness. Awesome. No. Okay, so, that's going to stay stuffed for a while. No. So it won't make uh, an excessive amount of potatoes. Okay, so, when you're making, um, no. when you're taking fries out of this, uh, be sure not to take all the fries because if you do take all the fries it will use up 64 of the potatoes quite fast and the salt cyclic assembler next to it may fill this area of salt and then the machine will stop working. So basically just take out uh, say 32 and then wait for the potatoes to come back in. We can take out another 32. Now we've got 64 fries. And that is how you make a uh, Ooh, why do we got that there? That's uh, not needed. Yeah, there we go. So that's how you make uh, French fries, or should say fries from Pam's Harvest Craft automatically. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I think that's about it for today, guys. Um, if you like it, hit that like button. Um, if you want to see more of this stuff, uh, hit the subscribe, of course. Um, if you got any comments, let me know. Any questions, uh, suggestions, uh, requests. Um, I try to answer everything. So, until next time, guys. Nah.